Hi, how are you? This is your host Nzinga. Welcome to Zinga Nation once again. I just wanted to properly introduce myself to my viewers. Um, my background is Haitian Angolan. Uh, as you can, as you have noticed, probably I have a thick accent, or so I'm told. Um, don't ask me where it's from. It could be because of the time that I spent in Africa, the 10 years I spent in Africa, or the 10 years I spent in Europe. I don't know, really. In any case, like I said, I'm Haitian Angolan. I spent some time in Africa, in Europe, in the Caribbean. And um, I just wanted to properly introduce myself with a poem that I have published, in, which is included in the book, in my latest book, Life Through Poetry, A Surrogate Voice which can be found on Amazon.com, on BarnesandNobles.com, Borders.com, or also at Exlibris.com slash Life Through Poetry. So, this poem is entitled, Who Am I? Whenever someone asks, tell me about you, the woman that you are today, a part of me is compelled to say, I am a Nubian queen whose African roots run deeper than their hundred-year-old tree. The skeptics, in the distance, over their shoulders, they ask, Nubian queen, hmm, according to whom? Well, I reply, if you really want to know and you cannot see it, it's in the glow of my skin, the beat of the trump which leads my heart, the unique hair texture, the power I hold when I remember where I am from. And then, another part of me wants to shout, don't get it twisted now, for in my African roots is where you'll find my, my Haitian blood. For I am a Haitian African beauty. That is when I hear the whispers. <laughs> she says she's Haitian, but I still cannot see it. So I calmly address them and say, Don't you know that my Haitian roots run deeper than you can imagine? For my, in my family tree, you'll find names like Hippolyte, Santiago, Leroy, and Ferdinand. And that is where I find myself. But if you really want to know, it's in the color of my carcass, my womanly Haitian features. That certain je ne sais quoi they can't quite understand. Which drive men wild. Well. My natural aura, which attracts others to me. My Haitian beauty, it's in my way of compa. It's in my Creole cooking. But most of all, it's in my Creole speaking. And that is what allows me to say, hi, I'm Shukun. For I am a cultured woman. In my moments of despair, many have asked me, well, where my secret lies? With a smile, I reply, a woman's heart is a sea full of secrets, my friend. Please specify. <clears throat> With a grateful heart, I reply, well, you've you found it, for my secret lies in my smile, for it's in the trials which thicken my heart. It's in the, in the heart and, and heart of my life. It's in knowing that no matter my pain, there are millions still struggling to survive. Most importantly, it's in knowing that for me, the worst has passed, and in the long history, of the women in my ancestry, for I am a strong black woman. Men often wonder what it is that they see in me, and when I try to show them, the fools still cannot see, and so they ask boyishly, is it your smile, is it your mind, or is it your things that you make me think? And with my womanly charm, I glance over and say to them, it's in the curves of my lips, it's in the strength in my heart, my eclectic knowledge, my zest for life. For I am a well-rounded woman. And when I'm feeling militant, they can't quite recognize me. So when <clears throat> I turn to my sisters with a great respect, I address Amina, Candace, Cleopatra the Seven, Dahiyala, Alkahina, Hachitsu, Makeda, Nefertari, Nehanda, Tiye, Iya, Asentawa. 
as the Afrocentric queen that I am, a reminder of my true rising days. I have been perplexed still, intrigued, and intrigued they turned to me and asked me, how dare I join the circle of royalty? Ever so kindly and respectfully, I remind them of the wars that I fought against slavery, the many kings and queens I inspired to join, the, to join me in the fight with my masculine toughness and my feminine charm and my cunning ability to eat, to use each to their advantage and for the, bur for, for the burden of my people. And that is when they truly look at me and recognize me as one of their own, a true royal, for I am Zinga, Queen of Angola. Thank you.